the Bitcoin price just plummeted for 8%. The cryptocurrency market saw 400 million in liquidations. Right now, in this video, I will be discussing if this is going to be enough and we can continue in our bullish price section or if this dump is gonna continue further to the downside. We will be looking at some sentiment, technical and also fundamental analysis, so make sure you are watching. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Samo from Market to Paradise and as you remember in our previous video I have been expecting this price action from Bitcoin. As you can see Bitcoin made high at $44,700. Luckily with Paradise Simly VIPs we have been able to take first take profit on our long position on Bitcoin. We have made around 37% profit and then we have started to move in a bearish price action and then this drop happened and it actually broke our $43,000 medium time frame support level. So what actually happened was that after we have taken our first take profit on this lower time frame resistance right here, I will turn this into red so you can understand this is our lower time frame resistance. We have not only made a bearish hammer candle right here, but most importantly on a four hour time frame we have formed this bearish engulfing candle pattern and as you can see this when it comes from uptrend then the bearish engulfing pattern happens it's basically a reversal signal and then with the highest probabilities a bearish price action starts and this is exactly what happened as you can see we had a bullish price action then we got this bearish engulfing pattern and we continued in a bearish price action and then we got this reversal by closing for our candle below our medium time frame support $43,000. Right now what is going to be very important is that if we will not be able on a daily candle recover about $43,000 this is going to be a further confirmation that we will need to retest lower demand areas all right there is more confluences which actually support this bearish idea right now so it is not only that right now we will be retesting that $43,000 and if we will not be able to close for our candle and daily candle above this level it will turn into a resistance and then we will continue lower okay and where lower we will actually continue lower to close our Bitcoin CME futures gap. It's very important after some volatile movement happens you need to check multiple things in the market and the Bitcoin CME futures gaps is one of them. As you can see we have been forming this CME futures gap back in the start of December and the whales really tried hard to close this gap however as you can see we have not been able to close the gap we have stopped at $40,720 something like this so basically this attempt to close the CME futures gap was unsuccessful right because in order to close the gap we need to dump much lower to $39,400 where we also near to this level have our support medium time frame support zone 38,000 right so basically Bitcoin if the Bitcoin will not be able to close a daily candle above $43,000 or at least a single 4 hour candle we will understand that this level $43,000 will turn into a resistance okay right now I will make it white because right now it's still neutral but if we will be closing 4 hour candles and daily candle below it will actually turn into a resistance it will make a support resistance flip all right and then we can expect a price action which will look something like this and we will be retesting the $38,000 and closing the CME futures gap at around $39,500 so it will look something like this bearish retest then continuation lower and here we should be ending and there could be some liquidation level wick out which will take us to $38,000 which will nicely work with our retest of support right the other thing which is actually adding to this bearish price action bias is that most of the retail is extremely optimistic all right so they are calling for by the dip on social media you can understand that from a lower time frame perspective these people are fear of missing out so they are trying to get into crypto because 
before they have missed to buy at low levels right and what is actually happening right now when these people are actually buying the dip right here at these prices then they have some stop levels right or liquidation levels so basically they are buying here and their liquidation levels will be something around here their stop losses will be something around here the liquidation levels will be actually a little bit lower here will be their stop losses basically all these long positions will have some trigger points right so once the whales feel like this is actually turning into a resistance it will be extremely easy to push the price down on these late long positions right because they need to just push the price a little bit it will trigger these liquidation levels that will automatically open short positions because they are just selling the contracts right and another trigger levels over here and basically the price will plummet very easily and the goal of whales is right now to close the cme futures gap so then in a higher time frame we can continue higher right we still expect much higher levels as you can see the dollar index is at resistance if i switch to daily time frame you know from our previous videos we are expecting uh the dollar index which is basically dollar against every other currencies also bitcoin right and crypto we are expecting the dollar index to hit 92 level mark this is higher time frame support zone right now you can see that we are at fibonacci retracement 0.618 resistance level right here so we are very close we are retesting this resistance zone right here if i put it uh the zone right here because here is also the 0.786 so this is our resistance zone of dollar index and as you know when the dollar index is going up at most cases bitcoin is going down and when the dollar index is going down the bitcoin is going up right so it's very important that you watch what the dollar index is doing in order to make really nice probability plays in bitcoin so right now what we can expect from dollar index is some retest which will basically have negative effect on every other currency also bitcoin and then it will continue to our support zone right here right so higher time frame from bitcoin is still bullish also the sentiment from the higher time frame is still extremely bearish as you can see the price still going up and the sentiment is even decreasing all right so higher time frame sentiment still very bearish however the lower time frame sentiment it's quite bullish okay and in most cases the wells will take the opportunity and really close the cme futures gap right here we can also see that on ethereum if i switch uh to a little bit lower time frame we can see that loads of ethereum positions on a short side opened in the today's drop okay you can see there is a 30 percent increase in short positions so some of the wells are really expecting the price to plummet a little bit lower and that's just adds up to the bearish bias that bitcoin if we are not able to overcome that 43,000 level will need to retest the lower levels which is closing the cme futures gap and also possibly we can retest the 38,000 dollars support right here so then the price action would look something like this then we expect the bullish price action to continue if we take a look at the others dominance which is basically the dominance of altcoins we can see that the others dominance is actually going upward so that is good for some altcoins and if you are buying the good strong fundamental altcoins you are also making profit as for example in these dump liquidation events we have been with paradise only vips able to make 30 four percent profit on combo for example so there are still altcoins which are benefiting from this bearish price action on bitcoin and definitely if you are playing it smart you can leverage every movement in crypto all right ladies and gentlemen this is everything from me today let me just recapitulate if the bitcoin will not be able to overcome forty three thousand dollars by closing four hour and daily candle above it it will turn into a resistance and we will dump lower and we will be triggering this cme futures gap we will be closing this cme futures gap at thirty nine thousand dollars so it's now just about more confirmations however the probabilities are now for the bear side so play it safe and i will see you next time